I'm Kelly Bishop, manager at City Rock. If you're watching this video, it's likely you're here to do our top rope belay test. Before we begin, let's have a look at the other types of climbing you can do in the gym. Bouldering is a great way to learn the basics of movement, and the auto belays do all the heavy lifting so you can climb by yourself. If you think clipping to climb with this, or tying a knot like this is okay, then you better do our introductory course. Top roping is the safest form of rope climbing where you don't have to take spectacular falls if you lose your grip. It's still dangerous and a mistake can have serious consequences. Let's have a look at what's in the test. In the test, we'll check your ability to tie a figure eight knot and we'll check that your B-lane is up to scratch. Also, we'll give you a whole bunch of safety checks so that you don't end up like this. First things first, we need to put on our harnesses. Let's make sure they fit it correctly. So, firstly, above your hips. Becky, that is not a belt. So, make sure they fit nice and snug around your waist, nice and tight around your leg loops, and nothing is twisted. Also, we want to check that the buckle is fed correctly so it goes through and back. If it goes straight through, it's going to pull straight out. Sarah? Oh, God! Sarah! Yes! Yes! No! Once our harness is on correctly, the climber ties in with a figure eight knot and only a figure eight knot. The knot should be tied in through the correct tying points and be close to the harness. Before we start climbing, the belay and the climber will check each other and make sure they both know what's going on. The belay needs to know what they're doing in order to keep their climber safe from the wall. The belay should do the following. Make sure there is no slack in the system. Make sure you have control of the break end of the rope at all times. From the moment the climber leaves the ground until they're safely back on the ground. Holding above the belay device does not help anything. Lastly, lower the climber correctly and safely. you will need to pass your top rope test and get a belay tag along with the freedom to climb any top rope in the gym your heart desires. Expect a question or two from the staff if you do not have a tag on your harness, so have one visible to avoid hassles. A few things before we go. Some of the hilariously overdone scenes have happened to real people who thought they knew what they were doing. Maybe not in our gym, but experienced climbers who have been hurt and even killed doing some of these things wrong. Lynn Hill, the first woman to free climb the nose of El Capitan in Yosemite, fell to the ground after forgetting to finish her knot on a warm-up route. Alex Honnold was lowered off the end of the rope and fractured two vertebrae in a fall of a couple of meters. Ashima Shirasi fell 30 meters to the ground when her belay fumbled the belay device, preventing it from locking up. Todd Skinner died after damage to his belay loop went unnoticed. Please be aware, we do these safety checks for a reason, and they should be done every time you leave the ground, whether it's your first climb or your millionth climb. Our staff are trying their best to spot things before they go wrong, but you also have eyes and a brain, so if you see something, say something. An imagined defense is better than a broken leg. So be safe and have fun. <laughs> 